Ryan, why don't we start off with just talk a little bit about your day. What's it like for the Cowboys to host the draft for the first time and you to come out and meet the fans? Yeah, I think it's been really cool. Um, you know, I didn't, coming down here, I didn't have any expectations, but, you know, knowing Jerry, I should have known that it'd be a, a pretty big ordeal. Uh, seeing, I mean, not just the, the Cowboy fans, but seeing the NFL fans in general, I think that have traveled a long way. Uh, it's pretty special. What's been the best part so far? I think the fan, the fan engagement. Um, you know, you get to meet so many people at, at these things, and you get to interact with so many different people uh, who you'd never meet otherwise. So uh, it's been really cool, and um, you know, the sleep number people have really taken care of me today. And tell us a little bit about your off season so far. What have you been working on? What have you been up to? Uh, well, you know, I, I had ankle surgery in January um, that uh, you know I had to recover from and, and start the rehab pretty early. But other than that, it's it's been kind of a shock because I've never had this kind of you know off time where you you don't have any obligations for you know my whole life. So, but I stayed busy, you know, training, working out. Um, you know, also got away from the game a little bit. I got married and uh, you know took some time away. So it's it's been a nice mix of both. Very exciting. I think Dak was among the teammates who came to your wedding. What did that mean to have him in there? Yeah, it was it was nice uh, for him to show support and, and come. Um, you know, we had a great time. I mean, you know, Dak, Dak's fun. He's fun to be around, um, you know, and, and our relationship has really grown, you know, off the field this offseason. And, uh, you know, I think that'll bode well for us next year. Definitely. It seems like I know that you didn't get a ton of time on offense last year, but even in that last game against the Eagles, I mean, you just got first down after first down. What do you think you can contribute to the offense, not just special teams this year? And what opportunity opens up with a new receiving core? Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot more opportunities for me next year. Um, I'm real excited about that. I mean, I really am. Just talking with the staff and talking with, um, you know, Dak, as much as we've thrown this offseason and, and as much as we've got our timing right, it's just, you know, and, and me me personally, I just know so much more. I know what to expect. You know, mentally I'll be pre more prepared than I was last year. And I think, I think things are just – they're just all around going to be better, you know, for me individually next year. Definitely. I talked to one of Dak's college wide receivers who caught 19 touchdowns from him at Mississippi State, and he said the two things that worked best for them was timing and staying after practice to just really make sure by game day they got it. It sounds like that's what y'all been doing this offseason. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't have a, a good quarterback receiver relationship if, if you don't know where – I mean, Dak, Dak's got to know where you're going to be. Uh, he's got to know he can count on you. And um, – you know, that's what we've wanted to improve, and, and him and I have got together a bunch of times this offseason along with some of the other guys. And, um, and I think as, as a unit, you know, receiving core and, and with him at quarterback, I think our timing and our, um, you know, our relationship on the field is going to be you know, a lot more better. The Cowboys draft Calvin Ridley or DJ Moore tonight. What do you think they'll bring to the room? And what's it like? A lot of young blood and a lot of change up on that offense that really had the same receiving core for so many years. Yeah, I think honestly, whoever we take tonight and this weekend, uh, I know that you know Mr. Jones and the the front office are taken for the best interest of this team. Um, I know they're going to bring in some players who are uh, who are ready to work and are hungry, um, you know, because that's Coach Coach Garrett staple. That's who he wants. So yeah, whoever they take, they'll 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 definitely uh, you know have the chance to come in and compete and help us, and uh, you know that's what you want. Do you think that Jerry's going to take that helicopter, open the AT&T Stadium roof, and come in for the first pick with a splash? I mean, knowing Mr. Jones, I, I wouldn't put anything past him. I mean, that that's a – I'd love it. That's a, that's a heck of a power move right there. <laughs> I mean, first draft here. He's got the helicopter. He's got the opening yeah, roof. He's got something up his sleeve. Yeah. So i got to get home in time to see it. Yeah, I was going to say, if he doesn't, are you going to come in there with that helicopter? He hadn't let me. He hadn't let me any. I don't know if they let fourth round picks in there, but uh, we'll. I, Dak's I, a fourth round pick. Dak's a different fourth round pick, right? <laughs> so I, I gotta earn my stripes first. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time, Ryan. We appreciate it. Yeah.